Hello. Thanks for coming back and watching my videos. I appreciate it. I, I really appreciate all of the, the views and likes and comments and everything, both here on YouTube and on the Facebook pages. It's just been so encouraging and just so much love, and I appreciate you all so much. Um, but yeah, in this video, I'm going to be going a little bit more into this book. We've gotten up to here. So we've seen that much, and we still have all of that to go. So yeah, I guess we're about what, halfway through, maybe a little bit past that. So, yep, still lots of stuff to see. But if you're interested in the cover or um, how it's bound in here, anything, you can um, go back through my videos, and the, the first flip that I did... Um, I think it might be called Big Fat Fobonichi Flip 1 or something like that. I don't know. But uh, it uh, goes into a little bit more detail on how it's done. But if anybody wants to uh, to know more in depth or if you want to see a closer look or uh, see the cover without the book in it or whatever, um, you know, just message me. Let me know. I can always um, do video on that if you want. But anyway, let's get to it. Last we stopped, we were at the beginning of the wedding pages. My uh, daughter, Rhiannon, who is currently in college, uh, she got married this past summer to her, uh, obviously husband now, but he had been her boyfriend from high school, and he went off to the Army and was stationed... Um, he'd gone through basic and then he went through AIT training and then he was uh, airborne and then he was stationed at, uh, now he's currently stationed at Eglin Air Force Base and they are not, they're still not together. Um, he's down there in Florida uh, working and she's at college and there are, they are, uh, an inspiration, really. They're, they are, I don't know, they, they're not letting their emotions rule their actions. They are being very intelligent about how they're doing um, what needs to be done early in their marriage, early in their lives, so that they get the important stuff out of the way, and then because they know that they have their whole lives together. So they've just been, I'm just really proud of her and both of them. So. Uh, I just start off with uh, some scrapbook paper and stickers, and these are the, I think these gold stickers had been at the Target dollar spot. I think I've seen lots of videos and pictures of people using those. But it was nice to finally get to use them for something. And at Walmart, they had tons of wedding stickers. I think they probably still have these sets, but I just got like several packs of each one, and went to town. Some of these pages have lots of stickers, and um, there's a lot of pictures, you know, so this, it's much more like just a scrapbook at this point, but it's, um, I just, I really like the way that the book has evolved. It's, you know, it, it's, it's a, a log of our lives, our family this year, and so much happened, and I'm so glad that I started doing that this year, that, that this book, you know, from way back in these early pages, has evolved into this record keeper of of the the Campbell family lives this year and it's I'm just really I'm really thrilled with it and I I want to thank everyone who was um, posting videos on this sort of thing and uh, you know way back at the end at the beginning of the year because you all inspired me to start this and I'm so glad I did but Anyway, get into it. Um, just journaling pictures. This was the the lunch after rehearsal. We had rehearsal earlier in the day of the wedding. Um, it was just easier that way. There were a lot of people that weren't even in town until that day, so it, it's just easier that way. So then, you know, more stickers, and pictures, and journaling. This page, actually, I just recently stuck this one in there and washed it in because 
These are pictures from prepping for the reception, which I did not do. Um, I am so thankful that Joe, her husband now, his family, they're not, most of them are not local and they flew in for the wedding and especially his mom and his aunts. Um, they wanted to help, but of course they weren't here throughout the whole prep time. So they told me that if, if we got everything that we wanted and needed for the reception and Rhiannon had an idea of how she wanted it to be, that they would do it all. And it was such a load off my shoulders. They were just so wonderful. And it turned out beautiful. Seriously. And at the end, all I could do was stand there and, and just, like on the outside, just looking in. It was like a scene out of a movie. It was just beautiful. I was so happy. <laughs> I'm going to tear up. Oh, my God. <laughs> but anyway, um, so this was some of the prep when they were getting ready. Um, if you can see, that was the tent. At the last, last minute, I decided to just splurge and get her a tent. Uh, we really didn't have any backup plans in case it was going to rain, but it didn't, thank God. It was just a beautiful night. But that tent with all the, the twinkling lights, oh, it was just beautiful. But anyway, I just, I'll just i just gush forever. Um, that was one of the little chandeliers that was over their table. This is where they sat. And this is the... The table where you'd sign in. They didn't have a traditional guest book. She drew a picture of the house from up. And then people had um, like little ink things that we got at Michael's. And they could make thumbprints. Which would be their, um, like the balloons over the house. So everybody, all the balloons were thumbprints of the people who came to the wedding. And then you could like um, initial them or write your name or whatever. And... Uh, there were also um, like note cards that you could write, like index cards, and you could write a message to them or you know wishes for the the happy couple or whatever on those index cards, and then they were going to make those into an album too. So it was really great. It was great ideas. This is actually lace from the dress. Um, it was a little bit of scrap that was left over. And I did not want to just throw it out, so I just washed it in here on top of this. And it's where she's getting her maid of honor, is putting the garter on her. And this is me. That's me. Um, and that's Rihanna. And I was helping her with the her necklace. And I had somebody take a picture there. And there's where the ceremony started. Oh, yep, let's see. There's. Oh, are you going to focus? Come on, focus. Let me back up a bit. There he is. That's Joe in his uniform. And um, that is my brother. He officiated the wedding. He also did my oldest daughter's wedding. But, oh, now it's not in focus again. There we go. There's. Uh, her friends and my daughters and Joe's friends, they were all pretty. Was, everybody was in purple. It was so pretty. And this one, this is funny. This, well, not funny, but it's interesting. I'd never seen it done before. Um, that is, uh, his name is Ducky. He actually lives with us currently. He is one of uh, Rhiannon's dear friends. And, um... If you'll notice, the men were all walking on the on the right with the girls on the left, except for them, because they were actually the other side, the other way around. She was a groomswoman, and Ducky was, uh, well, obviously not a bridesmaid, but I I don't know what the team term for that would be, bridesman, but I don't know. But there's Christopher, my husband, and Rhiannon. And he gave her away. It was so, so sweet. So beautiful. There's some pictures of the ceremony. Of course, all of these are backed. All these pages are backed with um, scrapbook paper or some of it's even cardstock, I think. So, the and they're all they all have probably at least three pictures each. Except that one has got a lot of uh, stickers and stuff. But yeah, that was. After he pronounced them man and wife, and they were walking off. 
but yeah, that's there's a lot of pages, and they all, you know, they're all really. It's not going to focus. They're all really bulky uh, because of all that paper. Uh, and this, I was so thankful he did this. My brother actually had the ceremony itself um, printed out, so he'd have it, you know, to, to be able to read it in case he, you know, forgot his lines or whatever, I guess. But after the wedding, he gave it to me. He said, you know, if I wanted that, I could have it. Oh, yes, absolutely. So I knew exactly where that was going to go. So that's in there, so I have that forever. And there's pictures after the wedding, the wedding party, and those that's me and Chris. I mean, none of these are going to focus. They're kind of blurry pictures anyway. Yeah, there's me and Christopher with Rhiannon and Joe. He changed clothes right after the ceremony, and poor thing, I don't blame him. I mean, even for the, for the group photos we had done. Um, it was so hot. I mean, it was July 25th is when it took place. And even though the ceremony didn't start till 8 o'clock, uh, it was hot and muggy and a regular summer evening here in Tennessee. And, uh, Lord, he was just drenched in sweat. So he went and changed, like, immediately. And, but he had a, a lavender shirt to turn, change into, too. So he matched the other guys, at least. That's him and his mom. But I, I swore I was not going to do every single page, so. <laughs> but there's some pictures of the reception. So see, look at just, it was just so beautiful the way it looked as the sun was setting. I was just so thrilled. It turned out so nice. And uh, it was on... We held it at the farm of Rural Resources, actually. If you've watched my other videos, you've heard me go on and on about them. Uh, they have a beautiful farm. It's not a big one, but uh, it's big enough to, to do their instruction for, you know, the, the teen program and everything. And the little kids, they have a farm day camp. And uh, so we got to hold it at the farm, and it was just beautiful. I'm so thankful for it. And there's... I'm cutting the cake, so I got to use all these stickers. I was just, I was, I was so happy. I mean, I was just made extra pages just to be able to use stickers. <laughs> and this is the dancing. And I was really, th I, we were, we were, and this is on cardstock, so it won't even, doesn't even want to lay flat. Um, she and I were both worried that people were not even going to get up and dance, but, um, we turned those spotlights out onto the, it was just a, a field, and we put lights out on it, and we blared up that sound system, and yeah, all our friends got out there and danced, and we had adults out there dancing, and it was awesome, and they got sparklers out. We had sparklers instead of uh, bags of rice, which everybody was real thrilled with, so that was really cool. And I think this is... Yeah, this is the last page. It's where they were opening their gifts. So they didn't even, we didn't even get to the gifts while most of the guests were there. Everybody was just having such a great time. They didn't they didn't want to interrupt and make it about them. They didn't they were just so such a gracious couple. They you know, they wanted people to have fun. They didn't want people to have to sit and watch them open gifts. They they were like, That's just not what it's about, so but uh, his mom was like, no, you need to open get stuff and so we can get pictures and write it all down. And, and, of course, a lot of people were flying out early the next morning. So we did, we got some of it done, and they opened up stuff. It was nice. And then that was it. They went on their way. Actually, the, the next day, uh, I didn't take pictures of this, but we all met up again back at the farm, and we had to clean up. And it took hours of breaking down all those chairs and tables and putting them away and all that stuff and and then later on the the rental guys came and got the sound system and the tent and everything so but and then it was all cleaned up in fact the people who owned the farm rural resources they were astounded that I mean they thought you know we'd we'd leave something behind they'd have to clean up after us but they uh, they thanked us for getting everything we even uh, threw you know took the trash out and everything so it was it was nice we we 
appreciate them allowing us to use the farm and so it was just nice but sorry I'm just going on and on about the wedding <laughs> but that's that's what moms do isn't it all right so then as they went on their honeymoon our lives got back to normal and my youngest had some fillings at the dentist so we got some pictures of that she was like I can't feel my face <laughs> Um, and there's a picture of Ducky. He was the one in the wedding I told you about, and he's um, he moved in with us. His he's uh, his family's been having some struggles, and so we opened our home to him. And he's um, really he's just sort of always been the son we never had. So uh, he's really just part of our family. So he lives with us now. Oh, and this is the fair. Yeah, we went to the fair this year and I had a good time looking around at all the stuff and the carnival rides. It was just a, another beautiful night. Yeah, Zoe riding rides with her friends and well, you know how fairs can be. It's just a big fun. And the Duggar Band was playing. They're actually a, a local band. But they're really big in Nashville, and I really, I hope, hope we, we get to hear them on the radio soon, but they're really good. So, yeah, if you hear about the Duggar Band, I, you know, give them a listen. Uh, this, I just did a little bit of journaling about, I was getting back into walking. That's, that's actually the view of the walking trail nearby. It's beautiful. And this is, uh... I just stuck this one in there. It was pictures from my husband's birthday that I, for some reason, I had skipped his birthday altogether in this book, and I felt terrible about it. But I found the pictures, and so I was like, oh, I'll just stick them in there and journal about it. But that's actually, that was like a gag gift that my daughter's boyfriend got for him. Um, <laughs> when he saw that thing, it's it's actually, it's a, it's a bread canister thing thing I don't I don't know and like the handle or like pats of butter it's so funny it's a ceramic thing and actually it's it, it's kind of handy we've used it for lots of things since we got it but when he <laughs> when we first saw it at the thrift store it was like nobody knew what it was and even the lady at the checkout was like what is that but it was funny so he had a lot of fun and yeah he's he's wearing a tiara Phelan made him wear it and this was just a, a piece of cardstock. I stuck those on. And then our bride got back from her honeymoon and her husband went on back to work in Florida at the uh, his base and she went on to college. So back to Maryville College she's at. This was um, Labor Day cookout. My sister held it back um, on her farm. And there was uh, lots of family got together. And were, we were fishing in the creek and grilling out and talking. And just It was just a relaxing day. It was really nice. And this was another day we went to the mall. Got a sweater weather candle. And my husband was goofing off wearing the fez at... Hot topic. Uh, this was the first pumpkin spice of the season that I got. So, yep, we're getting into fall now. And this I have in here because Ducky bought me a Supernatural license plate cover from my Suburban. And it's the Suburban is all decked out in Supernatural stuff. So, I was so happy about that. So, I was like, that's totally going in my book. So, yeah, that's in there. Um, just journaling about Phelan got her, um, permit, and so I had to take a picture with it, and then when her permanent one came in, I put the paper copy in here, so we have that. Uh, this is, this is actually, this is ridiculous. See this huge building? That's not even all of it. That is the high school, and then that's the rest of the high school it is ridiculously huge see that yeah third floor second floor 
Yeah. yeah. It's big. Um, it's, it's just a long story. It's like, it's, it's a building on top of a building. They decided they needed a bigger one. And instead of building out somewhere outside town where they had a lot of room to build something new, they just built up. And it's, it's a monster of a building. So lots of stairs. But anyway, this is in here because they had, um, like family night and college night and the financial aid meeting all at the same time. So we went to that. And this, one of the colleges that she wants to go to was there. And that's actually her father and I's alma mater. This, that's where we went. Uh, I don't think she's going to go there though. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, oh, yeah, I got my new Lily planner, which is, oh, it's in my purse, or I would show it to you, but yeah, that's what it looks like. I love it, and, oh, yeah, and this is, this was just a little sticker showing, but I bought um, a vinyl thing for my laptop. Here it is. I will show you. There. That's the anti-possession symbol from Supernatural. Which is my all-time favorite show ever. But yeah, I bought that and it came in the mail. So that's all. And this is just, I think it's just watercolor. And washi tape. And the local park had a kid's day with inflatables. And even though she's 13, she went anyway. That's probably the last time we're probably going to go to the Heart Kids Day. I don't know. It's it's hard. We've had kids for we got Karina is twenty three, so yeah. We've had little kids for twenty three years continuously until now. Our youngest just turned thirteen. So it's an adjustment, you know, going from being a family with kids to being just a family with teenagers. It's you wouldn't think it's that big of a deal, but it really is. I mean it's just it's kind of a, a whole different vibe. But she's still on that, that, right on the brink, you know. She still wants to be a kid, but she wants to be a teenager, so. So, and I think, yes, here it is. I love this quote. Let them be little, because they're only that way for a while. I love that, so. Yep, when she said she wanted to go to Kids Day, I was like, absolutely. We will do that for you. That was the flyer for it. Oh, let's see. All kinds of stuff. Oh, we went to Bath and Body Works and to the mall and stuff. So, yeah, we had, we got Japanese. It's a little Nori Japan place. And oh, it was the first day of fall. So, we got all new sets of stickers. And that was a printout of a, it was a, I think it's one of my wallpapers on my desktop that just printed that out. Um, oh yeah, this was a big thing that was going around at the time. The family fall to-do list. This was from a free printable that somebody alerted me to. I saw it on a Facebook page or something. And it's like, that's what all these little, these little stickers are from, are from that set. And, uh, so it's just all these different things we wanted to do. Let's see, we did, we carved pumpkins. Uh, we went to where the corn maze was, but it was already closed by the time we got there. But we did do the hayride. We went to Heritage Days. We went to trick-or-treating. I had a pumpkin spice latte. We didn't really drive to go see the changing leaves this year. We just, I just did not have time. I've not had pumpkin pie yet, but it is definitely going to happen. We didn't go to an apple orchard this year. We did roast marshmallows, though. So we got most of it done. Uh, now I'm back to doodling and journaling. And a little bit, getting kind of getting back to the Fibonacci roots here. Um, but yeah, this is when the car started messing up. That was a pain. Uh, this was a blood moon. I think everybody has a picture sort of like this in their book but yeah we that's that was a picture I actually took and I, I think it turned out really good
good. You can barely see in the upper right corner of the moon there is like a little piece taken out. That's the very end of the eclipse. Uh, in fact, it was completely cloudy here right up until then. But I'd been watching it online, so I saw it there. Uh, yeah, and definitely getting back to regular Fobonichi journaling. Just doing some cleanup and yard work and more TV stuff. And Zoe was sick. That was her in the doctor's office. And look at that. I'm back to doing the monthly layouts and writing about each day. I just really want to get back to my roots and get back to um, what the book started as. Because finally life had slowed down. The summer, I mean, that it was just so much going on. There was no way I would have been able to journal every day. But I was glad that I was able to get the big stuff, the big events and things in there. So that starts October and I think this is where I'm going to stop this video and we will start here at the next one and we might be able to get through the rest of this. I don't even know if I sit and chatter about one page again like I did this time. It'll take forever. But anyway, I wanted to um, Thank you all again for um, coming and watching my videos and um, showing the love and support that you all do. It's great. I love this community. And you guys are just so encouraging. I really appreciate it. So hopefully I will see you in the next video. If you've not subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. So that way you, you won't miss any of these. And you won't have to go searching for them. They'll just all be, you know, right there. And, uh, you know, if you've got any any questions, if you wanted me to go back and look at anything particular, or if you've got questions about, you know, the, the book itself or how it's put together or, or anything I did, just let me know. Um, you know, I'll be sure to 